what we're doing in this video is we're writing equations in slope intercept form. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find a graph, we're trying to find points, and what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation for it. So last chapter we looked at graphs, we looked at equations and made graphs, but this chapter we're going to be doing the opposite. We're going to be creating the equations instead of using the equations. So something to look back onto is slope intercept form. What is slope intercept form? So looking back, thinking back in your notes, our slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And with that, our m is our slope and our b is our y-intercept. That's just a little review from last chapter. So our slope is our m and our b is our y-intercept. And y-intercept again is where our line crosses the y-axis. So where it's crossing the y-axis. And our slope is our rise over our run. It's how our graph is changing. So slope intercept, y equals mx plus b form. So we're going to be looking at graphs, looking at points, and creating equations in this form, y equals mx plus b. So write an equation of the line with the slope of negative 2 and the y-intercept of 5. So being able to do this, we know again that our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. So we know we have a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of positive 5. So I want it in y equals mx plus b form. m is our slope. We have a slope of negative 2. So we're going to put negative 2 x plus b plus our y-intercept, our y-intercept of 5. So we're going to add 5. Something to keep in mind on this is if this was a negative y-intercept, then it would be minus 5. But we have a positive 5, so we're going to add 5. So y equals negative 2x plus 5. And that answers the question we're looking for. We wrote an equation of a line with a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 5. So those are the first types of questions that we'll be dealing with. Just being given a slope, given a y-intercept, and creating the equation of y equals mx plus b. So, after looking at that, another type of problem that we could be given is that we could be given a graph and it's going to ask us to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So we don't know what the slope is or what the y-intercept is. We need to figure out what those are and then write our equation. So, looking at this, we know that we need to figure out what our m equals and what our b equals for our y equals mx plus b. And the first thing that I would always start with is start with our b. What is our y-intercept? So our y-intercept, like I said, is it where it crosses the y-axis, where it crosses that axis. So where does it cross the axis? I'm going to see where the line crosses the axis, and it crosses the axis at this point. And that point is from the origin 1, 2 in the negative direction. So that means our y-intercept would be negative 2. We found our point on the y-axis, so where it's crossing that axis, crosses that negative 2, so our b is negative 2. Now here's the tricky part, finding another point to find the slope. So 
I'm just going to go up the line and see where it crosses a point that I can read without having to estimate, where it crosses the point perfectly. So I'm following this. Well, if I put that point, it looks like it's half, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep moving up. Again, not right on a line. So I'm going to keep moving. Still off. Still off. This one right here, though, is about right on. So I'll make my other point. And that point is 3, 3. So if I want to write that, that point's 3, 3. If we remember that our slope is our rise over our run, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rise from my y-intercept point, figure out, so then that'll give me my rise, then I'm going to run and figure out my run. So I'm going to rise up to where the point is. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my rise is 5. Then I need to look at my run. My run is 1, 2, 3. So my run is 3. And my slope again is rise over run. So I'm going to put my rise of 5 over my run of 3. And I need to look at this. Is my graph pointing up or is my graph pointing down? Well, looking at this, my graph's going up. So it stays positive. It's a positive slope. So now I know my slope is 5 thirds. My y-intercept is negative 2. So to write my equation in y equals mx plus b form, I'll have y equals mx, so my slope, so 5 thirds, x. Now, with what I talked about earlier, our y-intercept is negative 2, not positive 2. So instead of adding 2, I'm going to subtract 2 because that gives me my negative 2. Instead of a positive 2, it's a negative, so we'll get minus 2, negative 2. And that question asked me, write an equation for the following graph in slope-intercept form. And that's what I've done right here. y equals 5 thirds x minus 2. That is the answer to that equation. So that's going to end up this video, but there's going to be one more question for you. And the question is going to be to write an equation for this line.